What's up everybody? How's everybody doing today? We are hanging out here. I am Safety Scissors. And I'm Duct Tape. And he's gonna do this to me every time. My goal is to do it differently every time to just mess with her. I'm gonna stop doing these. <laughs> This is what it's like being my friend. It's true. <laughs> but yeah, so we're hanging out here today in the wonderful world of our studio. Da -da -da. It's a work in progress. Yeah, we're having a lot of it's fun. It's a work in progress. Look at this brick background. It's, oh, it's real yeah, brick. It's so real. It's real brick, guys. But <laughs> so we have a. Uh, we were talking trash the other day. We were talking about like who was more '90s. Who yeah. was the better 90s kid? And he was like, no, no, I know everything about the 90s. And I'm like, you don't know the music of the 90s as well as I do. There's no way. And then we realized we both just know different genres. But mm -hmm. we decided to challenge each other yeah, to so 90s trivia. We have a game that we bought that we haven't really ever gotten to play. It's going to be upside down when you show it. <laughs> there you go. 90s trivia. There we go. 90s trivia. <laughs> but yeah, so basically... We decided that we were going to talk trash to each other until we played this game to find out who the true 90s baby is. We decided to talk trash to each other until we played the game? Well, I think we just did talk trash to each I other. I just sat there and talked <laughs> trash the entire time until we decided to play the game. Alright, so first of all, we have our 90s clothes on. So I have my friend's hoodie, and he's got Wild Stallions, best band ever. Which the movie comes out That so. is true, I'm very excited. Um... I actually also have a Wild Stallion shirt, but I decided not to be redundant. So, um, this is a high stakes game. We're going to go to 10 points. First to 10 points wins. And the loser has to do a thing. We, so, we set up a challenge with each other. Yeah, and we're both really scared because neither one of us wants to do what the other person wants us to do. We had, like, no say. It was kind of one of those, you shake, you agree, whatever the other person says, we're doing. Yeah. So if I lose, if she loses, I am making her choreograph to one of her favorite songs of the 90s. Is it a song from the 90s? Yes. Okay, we're just going to pretend. Uh, it's <laughs> Steal My Sunshine by Lynn, right? Song. Sure. Yeah. I hate that song so much. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm excited to see the choreography to that video. <laughs> or to that song. Mm-hmm. And if, but if I, for some out how don't win by cheating he has to do yoga with me on camera and we're gonna post it it'll be like a yoga vlog but he has to do it with me i don't know if you guys can tell but this guy is I not, am not a yoga. i am not a flexible individual <laughs> <laughs> you're not a standstill kind of individual yeah. so this is going to be really interesting so that's the stakes mm -hmm. um nothing too terrible but at the same time both of us are just like Hit of dread. So you guys, so, either way, get to laugh at us in our wonderful... It'll be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, comment down below which one of us you hope loses. And by the end of the video, you'll know. But still, comment down below which one of us you hope loses, because that's the one you want to see. Some like, people out there are like, I actually like that song. I want her to do a tutorial to it. How dare she say she doesn't like that song? They're like, yes, torture him. Make him do yoga. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we have a practice question. Also, it is storming outside and there's nothing we can do about it so please enjoy the ambiance of the thunder um here's our practice question i'm going to give this to you mm -hmm. in the 1994 indie hit clerks what is the name of the convenience store where the main character works this is like our favorite movie <laughs> or my favorite movie i don't know about yours not the quickie mark no mm -hmm. okay this is a video that you have to and, sit through this oh sorry. i'm not editing um what oh is my it called? God. Oh my God. I was goofing around and I literally forgot. Oh, it's... thank God it's a practice thing. <laughs> you were close. I don't remember. Oh no. Should that count as no. a point? No, no. That was it practice. is the quick stop. The quick stop. Nah. Oh, I see that trash talking. It's happened again after this video. Guys, All I'm right. choking so... already. I'm choking already. I don't want to do yoga. Come on. <laughs> Come on, brain. Use that chai you just drank. Let's go. Come on. All right. Come on. So we're going to ask each other questions. Are you ready? So is that what we're doing? We're grabbing a card and then the other person has to answer it? Yes. And the only reason we can put down a card is if it is like a draw something because mm -hmm. we don't really have that. So it's got to be questions. All right. Paper, rock, scissors to see who goes first because that's how we solved everything in the 90s. Rock, paper, scissors or rock, paper, scissors, lizard, spock? 
I don't know how to play that. Okay, regular. Ready? So we're going to one, oh. two, three, shoot. Yes. Okay. One, two, three, shoot. I win. So you ask the question first or I ask the question first? I ask the question first okay. so you get the chance to get the point first. Sure. All right, we ready? You know how I knew that you were going to do scissors? How? You did scissors on the practice run. Oh. <laughs> wow. I'm batting a thousand today, guys. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Now yeah, this one's easy. Which of these characters is not a character played by comedian Mike Myers? A, Garth Algar. B, Fat B Word. C, Dieter from Sprockets. Or D, Austin Powers? C. Is that your final answer? Wait, no, it's Fat. No, he did play Fat. Yeah, it's C. Dieter from Sprockets? I apologize. He did not play Garth Algar. Oh, he played Wayne. Oh, that got me. Who is Dieter from Sprockets? I've I never even seen that. Um, oh, I this hurts. I just lost the point. Or so I didn't get the point. You don't get the point? No. Okay, so. Oh, okay. So we both failed on easy questions. Mm -hmm. But his birthday party was Clark's theme, so you still... No, I'm sorry. Yeah, my birthday last year was Clark's theme. All right, your turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's way too easy. I'm sorry. Absolutely not. No, mine. No, okay. <laughs> that, no, this is a, this is fake. What links these clues together? The Max, Freeze, and Bayside High. Yeah, that's why you're not getting that question. Wow. Screech. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh man. I'm not gonna be able to do this right. I'm so sorry. But what is this dance move called? Are you dugging? Yes. Okay. That's that's the question. I was like fixing your hair, brushing the hair. All right, Sean it. gets a point. One point for me. I don't want to make that dance. I'm nine points away from not having to do. <laughs> that's all, all right, I'm worried about. Hurry! This oh, video is gonna sorry. be like an hour long. Here we go. Maybe she go to five points. <laughs> Ten. Uh, what MTV series debuted in 1992 and featured a true story of a group of strangers picked to live together in a house? Is it multiple choice? No. Is it real world? Yes. Okay. Do you want to double your points? Yes. Where did the first season take place? LA? Nope. No. New York. So I almost said New York. I was like, it's New York or LA. <laughs> It was supposed to be double or nothing, but I'll give you a point for that okay, one. Okay, good, because you didn't tell me it was double or nothing. I would have said no. <laughs> you got to be honest. I like that question. What? <laughs> it was oh. <laughs> 90 spelling bee. Just spell the name. We'll give you two tries. crack a -lackin. You have to spell <laughs> crack a -lackin. For anyone who's curious, it's C-R-A-C-K-A-L-A-C-K-I-N. And an apostrophe. Oh, yeah, there's an apostrophe in the end. All right, so my turn. Yes. We're tie, guys. Okay, because we can choose whichever side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put these films in order by their movie rating, from G to PG to PG-13 to R. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. Home Alone, mm -hmm. Mrs. Doubtfire, Toy Story, Train Spotting. Um, Toy Story is G. Mm-hmm. Um... Home Alone is PG. I'm not telling you. Mrs. Doubtfire is PG-13, and Train Spotting is R. Is that your final answer? Yes. You are correct. Movie questions. Of course he gets a movie question. <sighs> Eight points away from not having to do yoga. That's all I'm worried about. Okay. <laughs> all right, you ready? Yeah. I already got this one. Which one is not a WWF signature wrestling move? Uh, you ready? Sure. The People's Elbow, Sweet Chin Music, Say Ah, Stone Cold Stutter. Say it one more time. Which one is not a WWF? I know the question. <laughs> the People's Elbow, Sweet Chin Music, Say Ah, Stone Cold Stunner. I'm going to say say ah. That's your final answer? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. No, you're right. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, the first one was the, the other ones sound like wrestling moves. Yeah, People's Elbow was The Rock, Sweet Chin Music was Shawn Michaels, and Stone Cold Stunner was Stone Cold Steve Austin. That was all Greek. <laughs> <laughs> all of it. She's like, I know who The Rock is. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Okay. According to the U.S. government, what was the most popular baby name for girls in 1990? You ready? Do I get multiple choice? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank goodness. Olivia, Jennifer, Jessica, Lauren. I'm going to go with Lauren. Final answer? Yes. It's Jessica. Dang. I thought you'd go with Jennifer. <laughs> I would, but I think Jennifer was more 80s. You didn't get the point. Yes. Yes, it was. Because everyone in my graduating class was named Jennifer, I swear. What links these clues together? Oh, God. Ronnie DeVoe, Ricky Bell, Michael Bivens. Do you want a clue? Yes. It's music related. It's a, it's a band or a group. Oh, God. I was about to say something totally different. I was going to say, like, what, The Outsiders? Um, <laughs> can you say it's that again? Ricky Bell, Michael Bivens, Ronnie DeVoe. Good Charlotte. No. No, okay. <laughs> Their last names are Bell, Biv, DeVoe. So it's the group Bell, Biv, DeVoe. What group? It's an R&B. I have never heard of that. That should be what I have to make a thing of, of that. I've never heard of that. I was just like, what's a three-piece group? Is Good Charlotte even three-piece? Like, I don't even I don't know. know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, wait, okay. did, did we give you the point for the say off? Yeah, I did. Okay. I've been the one keeping track of points, which is oh, weird. I never do that. <laughs> what was the line of miniature skateboards for your fingers called? <laughs> I knew you'd know this, but. Tech decks? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> How did you know? I, I had I no was idea. Like, I was thinking, I was like, they're not the finger, they're not, they're not called, they're finger boards, but they're, that's not the company. That's and funny. I used to work at a retail store, like like a type like a Walmart, and I used to have to stock toys. So I remember oh, seeing Oh yeah, toys. I did not know yeah. that. <laughs> oh, hello. Hit the table, All right. glass breaks, you know. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. What former heavyweight boxer introduced a portable electric grill to a worldwide popularity in 1984? George Foreman. I have one of those. <laughs> We've never used it. <laughs> So I get a point. Mm -hmm. We are three and three. So much easier than editing. You would have got either one of these. <laughs> what was the other one? It was um, which one of these Wayans brothers was not in living color. Oh. So. All right. You ready? Right. Is it my turn? Yeah. I don't like that you have three points like I do. Can I erase one? Okay. And no. Toy, Story's, uh, Toy Story was Pixar's first feature-length computer animated film. But what was the second one? Monsters, Inc.? No. Oh. Was it Up? No. No. Oh, what was it? A Bug's Life. Oh, I forgot about that movie. I always forget about that movie. Nice. All right. All right. You got me with the movie. Three one. and three. <laughs> oh no. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Put the Hanson brothers of Mbop fame in order from youngest to oldest. Okay. You have Isaac, Taylor, and Zach. From youngest to oldest. Youngest to oldest. Cannot remember if Isaac is the oldest. <sighs> Youngest to oldest? Youngest to oldest. I think it's Zach Taylor Isaac. Is that your final answer? No. Also, somebody <laughs> just rang the door <laughs> out. <laughs> um, so that's your final answer? <sighs> no. No, it's I think it's Isaac Taylor Zach. 
from okay. youngest to oldest. That's your final yes. answer? Isaac, Taylor, Zach? Yes. Youngest to oldest is Zach, Taylor, Isaac. Uh, you had it right I had the first it right time. the first time. Sorry, what? the doorbell really <laughs> messed me up. I, I was it's... like, is that a chance to change my answer? <laughs> It was, it was the idea like, wait, 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 that's mm -hmm. wrong. It's somebody right. I knew Taylor was the middle one. But yeah, you said it right and I was like, is that your final answer? And then the bell, and I was like, she changed it? Yeah, yeah the <laughs> bell made me change my answer. I was just like, uh, what did we order? <laughs> it's not even fair. Mm. Look, I messed up on the quickie stop, so. This is not even fair. What links these clues together? Ghostface Killa. RZA Method Man. Wu Tang Clan. <laughs> I'm so mad. I was like, wait. As soon as you said Ghostface Killer, I was like, honestly, I just saw the answer and went, he's gonna get this. His <laughs> genre is rap, and my genre was like punk. So. I was straight up '90s hip hop. Yeah. All right. Mine was like alternative and punk and stuff. All right, this one's gonna be really hard. I'm so sorry. I can't tell if he's being serious. What links these clues together? Yakko, wacko, da. Seriously? Mm-hmm. Animaniacs. <laughs> Which, there's a new show coming out. I know. I can't wait. Yeah, on Hulu. We're not, we're not endorsed by Hulu. We're not endorsed by anybody, but if anybody wants to, we're weird, and we will be happy to, like, hey, this is cool. Her business email is in the bio. <laughs> no, it's not. It's in the description of thing, probably. No. Oh. No, my social media is, though. Anyway. There you go. <laughs> my God. Draw. Okay, it's always drawing. Yeah, I got, I almost got one of those, but the other side was like, Bruh. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. In the 1996 blockbuster Independence Day, which of these cities is not destroyed in the devastating first attack? Los Angeles, mm -hmm. New York, Washington, D.C., Houston. In the first attack? Mm-hmm. Houston? Final answer? Yes. Yes. He's kicking my butt. No, it's five to four. I know, we're it's at five, five to four. four. Here is the score right now. Also, now everyone knows how to spell your name. Nice. Just letting you know. <laughs> All right, you ready to do some math? Yeah. All right. Let's do the math, 90s style. Just, wait, I don't want to read that word. According to the bacon, uh, bacon, the bare naked ladies, what is the number of weeks since you looked at me and the number of days since, you, uh, until you, we say we're sorry, what is the total? One week, five days, so 12 days. So... Wait, which verse is that? Hold on. <laughs> it's been one week since you looked at me. Yeah, one week. Uh-huh. How many days since what? Number of days till we say we're sorry. Three days. It was one week and three days, so 10 days. Wait, that's adding together? Didn't, wait, didn't you ask me to? Yes. Wow. I found an error in this card, but <laughs> it's saying that it should be one week and two days since, uh, till we oh. say we're sorry. But it's saying the total number of days is three. But there's... Yeah. Unless it's just adding the You're numbers. adding the number. Okay, so it's two days, not three days. Either way, I got it wrong, and I'm going to have to make a dance to a song I hate. So... Unless oh, I can, sure. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What handy system was added to phone lines that severely hampered prank call attempts in the 90s? Caller ID? Yes. Ah. I was really hoping that you'd say star, star 69 or star yes. 67. I thought about it. That. I thought I could trick you with that because I couldn't pick a third card mm -hmm. just because that answer was too easy. All right. Six to four. You're getting asked about movies, and no one is asking me about things I know, so. <laughs> you ready? Sure. It's called Let's Spot the Poser. 
Which of these is not a compliment? Fat, fly, whack, dope. Whack. Whack, final answer? Yes. That is correct. Whack is not a compliment. Man, this is whack. <laughs> You're right, this is whack. <laughs> <laughs> so you get a point. Okay, catching up, catching up. No, there's no catching up. <sighs> Guys, I'm nervous. I don't want to do yoga. Okay. Could, okay, there's one question on here that he will absolutely get wrong. And I could sabotage him, or I could give him a chance. Which one do I do? Let's make it hard. Come on. I don't want it to sound like I got, I was handed anything. Okay. 90 spelling bee. You spell the name. And it says, okay, we'll give you two tries. Daria Morgendorfer. What's the easy question? <laughs> you want to see the easy question? D A R I A M O R A, uh, excuse me, M O R G E N D O R F E R? No. Try again. I'm not allowed to tell you what you did wrong. You get two tries. D A R I A? Yes. M O R. G H A N D O R F E R? No. <laughs> uh, you had it almost right the first time. There were two Fs. Oh. Uh, yeah. Hey, that's not bad. And okay. spelling is not my forte. I know. The other question was about dinosaurs. That's why I was I like, should dinosaurs. I give him a chance? God, I didn't even know she had a last name. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. It's a numbers game again. Oh, good. This time it's not math. Well, okay. not adding. It's the numbered heaven where the Camdens live on the WB drama. As in seventh? Is that the answer? Yeah, the Is answer seventh, seventh the answer? That's the dumbest question. I was like, maybe it'll trick her. Maybe no, trick her. you really just gave me that one. All right, we are neck and neck, six and six. Okay. Stupid Morgendorfer. <laughs> Stupid Morgendorfer. <laughs> Is that going to be your phrase and mine's what, DC? <laughs> you have to be on our, on our live mm -hmm. chats for that. I'm calling reference. somebody a Morgendorfer tonight. <laughs> I can't we do either side of that. <laughs> yeah, I've had a couple of those where it's like, wait. <laughs> There's another spelling one. Mm. Okay, so it's either super easy or a spelling one. What do I do? Super easy. I'm not spelling again. Otherwise, I'm going to go back to the one that made you spell Joey Buttafuoco. <laughs> I know how to spell Joey Buttafuoco. Oh. Um, which of these is not a character from the animated show Rugrats? Oh, I almost wore that shirt for this, oh, too. This is going to be rough. I don't know that much about Rugrats. Dill, Dexter, Tommy, Spike. Oh, Dexter. Because Spike's the dog. Yeah. Yeah, Same I was almost, I almost was like, Spike was like, wait, that's... All right, we are six to seven, Sean in the lead. Should we have written our fake names? <laughs> like our safety scissors and duct tape names? Probably should have, but... Probably. I don't think anybody before this point knew your name was Sean. <laughs> His name is Sean, by the way. Oh. Spelled S-E-A-N. Mm. So, Seen. 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 It's okay, right. I'm Jenny. <laughs> this one we both can't do. Oh, good. It's like a competition, like one where we're both supposed to answer. I get called Jeannie a lot. All right, it's Must See TV from 95. Okay. Put these NBC shows in the order they aired on Thursday nights from earliest to latest. That's rude. I didn't watch TV on Thursday nights. That was the night I had tap. That was literally the one night I had tap at my studio. Well, we see what benefit that had for you, Miss Professional Tap Dancer. <laughs> Me, I was watching TV, so I knew Yeah, then one. you know what? It was worth getting this question wrong. Go for it. All right. Friends, ER, Seinfeld. Seinfeld, Friends, ER. It was actually, is that your final answer? Yeah. It's actually Friends, Seinfeld, ER. I, it was one of the two. I thought Seinfeld went first because it sucked more. I always thought Friends was last. No, no, you do the comedy and then the drama. It's like how Simpsons and Married with Children, or Married with Children, then Simpsons, but mm -hmm. then they would put something like 
dramatic mm -hmm. after that. To like calm you down for the night from laughing. Or amp you up, I don't know. Yeah. But um, yeah, not that Seinfeld sucked, just I wasn't a big fan of it. So I, I don't think I would have watched Friends and then not watched something and then watched something because I did watch Friends in ER mm -hmm. when they were on reruns because I did not watch them on Thursday night. Because tap. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well I guess in the summer when we didn't have tap. Anyway, your turn. Yes. Which one of these supermodels was not featured in George Michael's Freedom 90s video? Naomi Campbell, Cindy Crawford, Elle McPherson, Christy Turlington. Can I phone a friend? No. Yeah. Google's my friend, right? Naomi Campbell? Final answer? Yeah. Nope. Elle McPherson. <sighs> Saved by the awful question. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm definitely asking you this one. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Which one of the following was not a member of the original 1992 U.S. Olympic basketball dream team? You had me so excited up to basketball because I was like, gymnastics, I got this. Let's go. All right, I'll give no. you four, and you got to choose the one that was not okay. and the 92. Okay. Michael Jordan, Shaquille O'Neal, Carl Malone, Charles Barkley. Kill O'Neal. Final answer? Yes. Wow, you get a point. He's too young. Yeah. He's way younger than the other three. Yep. You Why did I know that? The, the other <laughs> question that I could have asked you was, what links these together? Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Raiden. Street Fighter. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Blue's Clues. <laughs> All right. We keep talking about for noise complaint doing a whole Mortal Kombat set just because of the thing where we all have to wear masks now, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, well, what can we dance in a mask with? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be Scorpion. You be Sub-Zero. <laughs> so we're tied seven for seven, guys. Yep. Three more points. I don't want to do yoga. Okay. No. I'm going to give you three clues as to who somebody is, and you have to guess who it is, okay? Okay. I sported a mullet for most of my career. And now somebody can take that sound clip and prove that I sported a mullet for most of my <laughs> career. Um, some people called me a golden boy of tennis. I was one of tennis's most dominant players in the 90s and later married tennis superstar Steffi Graf. Look, after the first clue, I was like, Billy Ray Cyrus, 100%. <laughs> I don't know, so I'm still going with my man Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> I would have gotten this because actually I'm Is a it, pretty big tennis yeah, fan. I'm going to go with... Billy Ray Cyrus. You don't want to take an actual guess of a tennis player? You act like I know tennis players. You don't know any tennis players? Pete Sampras. That's a tennis player? Yes. Okay. It's, that's not the name of, that's not who this is. But like, you don't know who Pete Sampras is? Pete Sampras? We have differing tastes in sports. <laughs> um, Andre Agassi is... I know that name. I know. I was like, Andre Agassi is... Wait, who was the guy that was on Mr. Deeds? I don't remember. The guy with the attitude. I don't remember. No, that's the only other tennis player. Yeah. Anna Kornikova? I know that one. Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> Wait, this is your question. Yeah. I didn't look at the card. It's an easy question. I'm going to say you looked at it. Okay, that. that's fine. <laughs> I got you with a tennis question. It's fine. My dad's like super proud right now. <laughs> it's like, yes, that's my girl with tennis. <laughs> you didn't watch Seinfeld, right? I did. You did? A lot? Not, not religiously, no. Okay, then I'm going to change it to a hip-hop question. What alternative hip hop group led by a best spec? Also, if I didn't have my hand here and I wasn't looking at the window, what? I could totally see the card. What word is that? B E S P E C T A C L E D. Look, Sp or Spanish. English <laughs> <laughs> spelling is not my thing. I can't help you. Bespectacled? I don't know. They're all going to laugh. Bespectacled? That's the word. What does that mean? <laughs> Wearing glasses. Oh. Why did they put that? Rapper recorded the Humpty Dance. Digital Underground, Public Enemy, Sugar Hill Gang, Tone Loc. I have no idea what the question is. I'm still stuck on you not being able to pronounce that word. What is the question? Which one of these rappers recorded the Humpty Dance? Digital Underground, Public Enemy, Sugar Hill Gang, Tone Loc. Oh no. We all know this song and do not know. 
What was the second one? Uh, Public Enemy. I kind of want to say this is Sugar Hill, but I don't think it is. I'm going to go with the last one. Tone Loke? Yes. Final answer? Yes. No. Tone Loke did Funky Cole Medina. Uh -huh. Digital Underground did... Uh, yeah, I never... That was not even on my list of guesses. It was like two, three, or four. I did not even consider that one, so... Saved by the... Oh man, this is taking forever. People are gonna be like, me. I'm done. Mm -hmm. Hip hop saved me. Okay. How much was the fine at Blockbuster Video if you were unkind and did not rewind? Dollar twenty-five. Nope. It's not my final answer. Dude, no. I said <laughs> that is, that's my final answer. How much was it? Fifty cents. Really? Yep, fifty yeah. cents for not being kind. Was it four ninety nine for a late fee? I don't remember. I would have gotten that wrong. Four ninety nine to rent them. I would have gotten that wrong. Alright, you ready? Yeah. According to Right Said Fred's 1991 chart topper, what did Fred boast he was too sexy for? His shirt. Final answer? It, he said a lot of things. But is that your final answer? Yes. Name? It was his shirt. I was like, you could say pretty much anything and... <laughs> I'm losing, guys. Oh, I Jen need a point. Jen just took the lead. I did. It's eight to seven. Five. At least it's close. I need I need all the mojo. All of it. What? Give it to me. I need to win. Come on. Okay, we need to do this question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm going to ask a fake question after the real one just because you guys need a laugh. Um, unless you've been laughing this whole time. Great. Which search engine, engine was initially named Backrub? Google, Yahoo, Excite, or Netscape Navigator? <laughs> By the way, does anybody remember Netscape Navigator? I do. <laughs> what were the options again? Google, Yahoo, Excite, and Netscape Navigator. It used to be called Backrub. Excite? That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your final answer? Yeah. No, it was Google. <laughs> I'm so upset. That's crazy. I know. And then wait, check this out. According to 90s jargon, what is a home skillet? Is it a breakfast menu item at Taco Bell? It's, is it another form of homey or friend? Is it your crib or place of residence? Or is it your kitchen, of course? Kitchen, of course. Because <laughs> you're my home skillet. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a homey or friend if you didn't know. Like the first part of breakfast menu item. Ooh. I want a home I'm going to make you a home skillet tomorrow morning. <laughs> All right. That was, that was, I'm, my face hurts from laughing so Did hard. Did I get the point? No. No? I don't, no, because you said, uh, Excite and oh, it was yeah. Google. <laughs> back rub. <laughs> You're like, can you look something up on back rub for me? Alright, are you ready? Yes. Put these symbols in order as they appear on a Sony PlayStation controller moving clockwise from top. There are so many words I want to say right now and I can't say them on camera. <laughs> Circle, triangle, square, X. From top. From top to bottom. Top to clockwise. Triangle, X, circle, square. Close. Of course I'm close. I know that's the X and the circle or the bottom, right? It's triangle, circle, X, square. I've got the circle and the X. Yeah, mixed that was up. really good. I don't do PlayStation. I never played PlayStation. I was an Xbox and a GameCube girl. <sighs> Guys, I'm still down by one. So I got three in a hit. Come on, three in a row. Let's go. Hit me with the mojo. Hit me with the mojo. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Spoiler alert. Which character ends up on the covet? Or sorry, which character ends up with the coveted Joey Joey Potter at the end of the WB series Dawson's Creek? I got so excited about the question I couldn't actually ask it. Who ends up with Joey? I've never watched <laughs> Dawson's Creek. Oh no! Should I pick a different question? No, this is not fair. No. Does it give me a multiple choice? No, that's why. Who was the one that was played by the kid from Mighty Ducks? I don't know who the kid from Mighty Ducks is. The There's like seven of them. The kid, the main kid, the... Uh, I don't know. Ah, the yard work has begun. Is it Dawson? Does, is 
Dawson your final answer? Is Dawson, isn't it named after him? Isn't it his creek? Yes, it is his creek. He <laughs> owns it. He's a high schooler and he owns the creek, yes. <laughs> Wait, who do they wind up with? What's, I can't no, tell what's, you. What's the question? Joey. Wait, isn't there someone named Peyton? Is there somebody named Peyton on the show? Close, but I'm asking you for your final answer. Is okay. it Peyton right. or Dawson? <laughs> I'm gonna go with this Peyton person. Because da Dawson sounds way too... <laughs> it doesn't... I, don't know. I feel like that kind of show would have them wind up with not the main person. Really? Because yeah. these shows do that. Oh, I tried to look the 90s. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that your final answer. Because you're, because you're correct. Pacey. It's Pacey. Is that the name? Yes, oh. and it's the kid from Mighty Ducks. You, you were right the whole time. <laughs> and I'm sitting here like... That's the only one I know. The other one is... The, is it Ryan Dawson? No. The kid okay, with the... Uh, James Vanderbeek. James Vanderbeek. <laughs> For the crying meme. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm bad at... We are even. Why are we making this? That one this? was... How that long? One, this is a 40-minute video. Sorry. You have to wait 40 minutes to find out or more. Let's hurry up. Speed round. Speed round. Speed round. What is the first rule of Fight Club? Don't talk about Fight Club. Cool. That, that's the question? Yeah. That's not even a good... Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. You really want to do yoga that bad? No. Oh. Why would you give do me you want, Do you want to go question? with double or nothing? <laughs> no, you already looked at it. Yeah. <laughs> the other question would be even easier on the back. Oh. You won't. All right. I mean, I can give you that. You won't know it. Let's go. I got, I got Pacey. Why not? That was such an easy question. Hold no, on. it wasn't. <laughs> no. Know. What led to the cancellation of the World Series in 1994? What event led to the cancellation of the World Series in 1994? A fight? Final answer? Yeah. Major League Baseball strike. Oh. All right. This is for the win. I have nine points. This is for the win. He's doing yoga, maybe. <laughs> I'm so nervous. What popular girls catalog was a go-to fashion destination that featured items like platform, <laughs> platform flip-flops? That's denim, not a fair question. Denim, I'm about to win this because I shopped on that catalog every time it came to my house. Denim maxi skirts and mixed caps text. That's really what you want? Mm -hmm. You really want to lose. Look, I'm giving you an out to change the question. Should I change it? I'm giving you an out. It's Ooh. Delia's, by the way. No, it wasn't. It was. I know, but... I, I was really... like, wait, no, 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 no. That was my, that was my catalog. <laughs> <laughs> Spell Punxsutawney from Growing Ground Day. <laughs> Punxsutawney? Punxsutawney Phil. The, the, uh... I'm just kidding. I'm not going to make you do that one. What was the name of Niles' never seen wife on the sitcom Frasier? So, are there choices? Yes. Okay. Lilith, Daphne, Maris, Roz. Maris. Maris? It was Maris. Are you sure that's your final answer? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. So, let me ask you this How do I know what yoga positions to do? I'm going to do it with you. <laughs> But guys, I got Pacey. I should get like five points for that one. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was really loud. You want a high five because I have to do yoga? Oh, come on. Hold Don't on. you guys want to see that? 90s. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I am a man of my word. I promised that I would do that. So within the next 40 years, we will be filming that video. <laughs> you mean like within the next week? Yes. I prom I made them a promise and I made you a promise. It will only be a 15 minute beginner yoga session, I promise. And I will do it with you. Do I even have and yoga pants? I, I wasn't going to ask you to wear yoga pants. You could just wear your Batman pajama pants. I'm wearing yoga pants. Oh my god, I'm gonna be no. a, I'm going all out. I'm excited. No. I am going to be a yogi. What do you mean? Don't worry about okay. it. You guys ready oh, for that video? See, wait, I, I thought I won. You did? I didn't, no, I lost if this is what you're doing. I know where your tights are, I'll wear those. But anyways, <laughs> so. My eyes twitching. <laughs> but this was a lot of fun. I had um, the best hour of my life, honestly. This was so much fun. Thank you so much for keeping course. quarantine fun. Because honestly, we're not leaving. If we're not going to work, we're not leaving. And this is what we do. And we're so happy to share And we these apparently have to do yoga. <laughs> 
we're just really, really happy to share these Why moments did with I you. That? So I was like, she doesn't watch Frasier. I chose. Oh. Um, yeah. Oh no, I totally watched Frasier. <laughs> Socially awkward, really smart people. Uh, at least Niles. But yeah. there was a Star Trek Voyager Frasier crossover live on the Star Trek Voy or on a Star Trek like twenty fifth anniversary event or thirtieth anniversary event. I just left my nerd card sh nerd card showing real bad. But if you guys saw the project. number of Star Trek things that were in this room, like <laughs> the other half of the studio is my office and a whole bunch of Star Trek stuff. Mm -hmm. So but that was a lot of fun. I yeah. I was really I I thought I had it. I did. I thought you had it, and then I came back for the win. But final tally is... Final tally is six for Jen, ten no, for me. It is ten versus eight. And, you know, that was a really, really close game. If it wasn't, it wouldn't be a 45-minute uh, vlog. So we should probably end this now and let you guys go about your merry way. But thank you guys so much for watching and having fun with us. Stay tuned for yoga. <laughs> yep. Bye, guys. And who are you? <laughs> Safety scissors. I am the master of yoga. <laughs> I'm duct tape. Don't have to choreograph to one of my least favorite songs. Bye, guys.